Hi, Master Nun here, and I have a problem. Let's see if we can fix it. This is the flexible print bed for my 3D printer, and that is some filament that's stuck to it. And today, we're gonna get that off there. This has been stuck and out of service for a while now. So to, I'm gonna get that taken care of today. First on the list of things that we're going to try, if I can prevent distractions, is we're gonna soak this down in rubbing alcohol and see if we can't get that to release. So we're just gonna give this a few minutes. So here we are about five minutes in and we've got this just saturated and Oh, this appears to have completely got that little strand of filament off there. Well, I can't believe that the first thing we tried worked. Wipe that down and see if it's, everything's completely gone. There you go. There's one little tiny bit right there. Well, I wasn't expecting this to work and it looks like I'm gonna have to put that back on there and go just a little bit longer and we'll see if that last little bit comes off with another five minutes or so. So after the first five minutes, all of this came off. I did it another five minutes. Let's see if it'll focus. And there's just a, a little, one little strand that just is not coming off. So that was 50% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Out in the garage, for garage projects, I have some 91%. We're gonna put this on there for a few minutes and see if that takes care of it. Well, five minutes of the 91% isopropyl did not do the trick. So we are on to the next phase. Acetone. This has got to do it, right? So just like the fingernail polish, I'm just going to let this soak for a few minutes. So after a few minutes, it appears that the acetone is dissolving this PLA plus filament. So it looks like it's working. I'm going to get just a little bit more on there and try to wipe it off. Let's see what happens here. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of scrubbing, but it looks like it's pretty much all coming off. Well, I don't no longer have that PLA plus filament on there, but also, where the acetone puddled up, it removed the texture from the surface of this build plate, so we may have a problem, and there is a little bit of malformation right where that chunk of PLA was sitting. So, we'll just have to see if this plate still works, or if I need to order a new one, not that it's a big deal if I have to order a new one. This has been Master of None, PLA removal from a flexible magnetic build plate. Uh, I'm not gonna call this one a success. I mean, we got it off there, but we did damage the plate and we might have problems using this in the future. Definitely the rubbing alcohol got 90% of it off. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.